is there more? Sven Körner and me, um, we asked this question concerning an approach we took um, to gamified uh, teaching. And um, the background of our project was that in uh, German police education, um, for a few years, um, we had this problem that um, we have um, rising uh, figures of dropouts um, during our studies. And um, there are many reasons um, for this. And of course, there are also solutions um, how the police educational sector tries to tackle um, these kind of problems. So currently there are learning groups available for the students. Um, there is also an ongoing discussion about reducing the content um, in the respective studies. Then Körner and me, we um, yeah, tried a different kind of approach um, through gamification. Um, we tried to make the learning a little bit more engaging um, so that the students can experience um, yeah, um, a great learning experience for them. So we asked um, the question, is there maybe something in it? Is there maybe more to teaching um, than just uh, focusing on the content? Um, and for that, of course, we have to um, think about the triangle, um, the pedagogical triangle, we could say, uh, concerning the teacher, the students, um, and the content. In our case, uh, it was a psychology course. Um, we um, we thought. Um, and concerning the question, is there more to teaching? Of course, if you employ a kind of um, gamified approach, um, then yeah, you would traditionally um, employ some game designs elements in this non-game context. Um, but in our concept, we thought about um, maybe the definition of gamification is a little let's say too strict um, because the question arises and um, what is a game design element and of course um, what is um, yeah a game itself um, meaning um, if there is um, or if there's a missing structure in the game like um, for example the students don't know that they are playing or the teacher doesn't know that he uh, that the students are playing um, is it a game then and um, when, at what point does it count as gamification? Um, that's why we have um, these, um, these arrows with the dotted um, lines um, where we have this kind of relationship between gamification and students, uh, between the content and gamification and the teacher, um, where we yeah, think about um, this volatility of um, gamification. Is it really that obvious? that somebody is playing um, here in the learning environment. So um, with this kind of concept, we um, designed a, a gamified player approach. Um, during the studies uh, of becoming a, a police officer, um, students have to yeah, they, they have different kind of study periods um, where they um, get their theoretical content during, uh, during their, their courses. Um, so they have three periods, uh, seven months, three months, and then five months, um, where they learn, in our case, um, the psychological content, uh, which is stated in the curriculum. In our approach, um, we tried uh, to um, employ um, some elements and a story. Uh, where we would um, enhance the, let's say, learning experience for the students. But um, we took this approach not to make the uh, learning more efficient, but just to elevate the experience for um, the students. And in our yeah, ideal world, there would be a, a very strong relationship between the learning and the experience the students had. So in our story, the uh, professor, uh, which should normally um, yeah, teach the content, which was me, um, it wasn't, he wasn't there. He was kidnapped in the first, um, let's say, Grundstudium, in the first, in the first uh, seven months. 
Um, so they, uh, the students um, had to engage with a substitute, uh, Mr. Zepur, which was also me. Um, and I introduced myself as a substitute of the professor because he was kidnapped. Um, so in our first um, season, they got uh, this kind of newspaper in the beginning and um, we played this kind of role um, and the student in the beginning they they really took this um, for real and they weren't sure that this is um, a, a kind of um, story anim uh, element in a kind of gamified um, approach during uh, the season uh, the students had to engage um, they, they had a project which they should engage in they should develop a game uh, where they should uh, teach other students this kind of uh, uh, the psychological content of the course. Um, during uh, this first season, uh, the students also um, got messages uh, from the kidnapper um, where they should at some point uh, negotiate with him. So here we see the countdown clock. And they also, here they had uh, only uh, yeah, 28 minutes left. Um, to, to engage with a, um, with a kidnapper and um, after they succeeded they got an, uh, um, um, a congratulations video um, from a special force operator who told them that they did a really good job and, and during this season um, the, the students had to um, yeah were assigned to different um, tasks which could be taken as a kind of story element because the um, I, uh, a special force operator told them they should um, um, draft the concept for um, for their negotiations. Um, but also for the students who didn't want to engage in the gamified concept, they just had the assignment um, where they should draft a, a concept for a negotiation. But um, students choose to engage in this kind of story element or not. The same was true for the um, second um, season, which was basically the Hauptstudium 1, the main studies one, which took uh, three months. In this kind of um, story element, again, the professor wasn't there, the substitute, again, me, Mr. Sipur, um, was now promoted uh, to newspaper magazine uh, to the Daily Planet. And um, he should, um, yeah, reflect with some kind of journalists about uh, different kinds of police conduct. And uh, this was basically the assignment uh, Mr. Zepur, me, gave to the students. So they had uh, to regularly engage in, um, in journalist meetings where they discussed um, several incidents involving uh, the police. And um, they discussed these issues with the psychological content, which was taught in this kind of, or in this period of study. So again, the students had to, um, or they, they were allowed to, um, to engage in this kind of story, but if not, it wasn't basically a problem because the, um, these kind of meetings were basically a kind of group work uh, the students uh, did where we discussed, um, police incidents that took place over the last few weeks. And again, and this um, ephemeral um, concept uh, took place in, in, in season three, where um, the professor again was missing. And now uh, Mr. Zipu, me, um, was again promoted uh, to, to, a, to a company. Um, which was in charge of the COP development department, where they um, or where he uh, compared different kind of groups to each other uh, in the police education sector. So in this um, teaching concept, uh, the students had to engage in the COP development league and um, to play against each other, um, where every now and then each team, um, yeah, each team hosted uh, the competition on one day. So. Uh, Basically, in the in the in the third meeting, um, you can see this in the in the in the spreadsheet here. In the third meeting, Team One was in charge um, of um, hosting uh, a kind of competition between the teams two, three, four, and five. 
And for the team, for the meeting number four, it was the same. Meeting number five, the same. Um, in each in each uh, meeting, another team uh, was in charge of hosting um, a kind of competition between the other teams, where they um, challenged each other concerning um, the psychological content which was taught to this end. So again, it was kind of a um, gamified concept where the students uh, decided for themselves if they want to engage in um, or not, and uh, to what extent they um, engaged in it. So here we see a student who basically, um, he was, he disguised himself as a kind of quiz master and they introduced sound in, in, the, in this kind of quiz show they decided to, um, to host. Um, but it was also okay if they just asked each other's questions. So the students um, decided for themselves to what extent they want to take part in this kind of gamification or if they want to take part in this gamification at all. And if they also saw this kind of gamification because this, the substitute, Mr. Zipu, which was me, um, I did a lot of things during, um, during the lessons. I hit Easter eggs. Um, hidden messages. Um, I wore several kind of t-shirts, which basically was aligned to the story element uh, the students were in right now. So there were lots of elements um, which could be considered as playful or gamified, um, but um, we wouldn't um, agree to put it in the term uh, like gamification, but because it wasn't so clear for the students um, at which point there was a kind of game taking place. So um, concerning this concept, um, we also um, evaluated it. Um, so we, we took this kind of action uh, research approach um, during the last two years. We, um, we instructed, we taught 14 courses with a total of 500, uh, 406 uh, students uh, over the course of two years. And we took field notes and um, each year there was a questionnaire uh, which was sent to the students where we asked them what did you like about the course and what didn't you like. Um, and the questions were posed quite openly, not concerning gamification because we wanted to figure out um, is there a difference uh, or do they even know that it was gamified or how do they perceive these kind of gamified elements. Um, we did an analysis um, based on qualitative content analysis um, from my ring afterwards. And the results um, you can see um, in, the, in the table um, at the bottom. Um, concerning the questionnaire, we had a lot of positive um, mentionings um, concerning the organization and um, concerning the positive effect the students um, experienced throughout um, their studies. Um, and interestingly, uh, concerning the organization, uh, this has also been uh, reported as a negative effect, um, the group work, for example. And this is quite interesting because this shows us that uh, each uh, or that the students uh, perceive the same things individually, um, some positive, some negative. The same is true for gamification. Um, some uh, enjoyed a kind of gamified um, elements uh, within the course and uh, some of them said they couldn't um, relate to it um, because um, the, the depiction of the pop culture, uh, the references to the pop culture um, or some games um, which they couldn't relate to. And interestingly, um, that also, um, yeah, was striking for us is that the gamification was quite uh, on the lower end of the mentioning. The, uh, the most positively evaluated parts were the organization, the um, experience positive effect, the, the climate and the teacher itself, um, which they perceive um, or which they basically um, liked in the whole package. Concerning our field notes, we, um, yeah, we, we got the results um, that uh, the students really, really um, had 
fun and joy during the lectures. Um, this, was quite, this was quite obvious uh, when we took uh, photos, when we saw the videos, um, which was also recorded. Um, and um, there were several instances where, um, where there was laughter, where there was humor during the class. Um, on the negative side, um, some students, especially in the beginning, uh, they um, experienced some kind of uncertainty concerning oh, what is going on right now. Is this, is this a game? Isn't this a game? Uh, the approach was um, kind of different. Uh, regarding what they received from other teachers so far. And some students also um, reported that they had kind of um, negative um, attitude towards uh, playing and that they thought that um, maybe playing wouldn't help them learning inside this um, yeah, concept. So what do, you, what do we take from there? The interesting things for us who were here that um, teaching itself doesn't need gamification um, or gamified elements. But interestingly, there was some kind of um, indirect effects because um, regarding um, our own reflections, because that I uh, was very engaged in the in the in the gamified learning environment. Um, I took a lot of effort in uh, making uh, fit the the elements together, like the Easter eggs I hid, the um, the keynotes I assembled, um, and this had a very very positive effect on me, which basically perceived the students because they said, "Ah, the teacher, he was very enthusiastic." So there was kind of um, in, uh, indirect effect um, concerning gamification to the students. Um, the gamification itself um, wasn't mentioned very much by the students, um, at least at the lower end uh, on the bar. So for them, it's much more important to have an organized, um, to have an organized uh, structure, um, which they basically like. But gamification, or at least what we considered as gamification, um, had the potential uh, to help the students uh, to engage their, uh, or to reach their goals they had. That is learning and having fun during, uh, during the lectures and um, yeah, engage with all the content. And that is basically um, one of the critical aspects we, we perceived um, during our analysis is that um, the problem arises when a play is put too much in the forefront concerning learning. At this point, it was always that um, that learning uh, yeah, took a backseat um, and uh, the students also said that now they had, um, they didn't know um, how to make sense of it because um, it was all play. This was basically when some students, uh, especially in the last section, uh, introduced some challenges which were yeah, which focused more on play than actually on um, recapitulating the the, the psychological um, content. Interesting for us was that um, uh, through this concept, uh, the students could de could um, decide by themselves um, if they at all engage uh, in the gamified learning environment and um, to what extent. And this basically, um, yeah, this is an interesting question concerning the definition uh, of, of, of gamification, um, because if it's not so clear to what extent uh, who is playing here, then really is the question when it is a gamified learning environment. Who plays? Our answer to this is basically who plays? It's the one who plays. And then, of course, um, it would maybe a good thing to non uh, or to not define gamification like it is um, yeah defined traditionally. So yeah, we would argue that there is more to teaching. There is a potential of gamification, and of course, there is more to the definition of or to the traditional definition of gamification 
um, so far. So thank you. <laughs>